Hey, we're Don King. I'm Camilo. I'm Ron. I'm Matt. And welcome to Level to the Moon. Oh, that's uh, a good one. Don King. Uh, me and Juan were in a band together before this called the Cornerstones. And uh, due to other circumstances, the bass player just couldn't make time for it. So we started playing music together by ourselves. And then um, Matt lived here, and we knew of him because he played in this really big band from back home called uh, Bango Sky, which is just like the band of suburban Florida. <laughs> and, uh, and so, yeah, we just got together and started playing music. Matt's been in Donkey for like two months. Two, like three months now, yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah. Okay. I think a lot of the sound comes from me trying to like fit songs to what they play, you know, like, I can't, it would be dumb for me to write a song in 4-4 with a basic bass line, <laughs> because it would just be a waste, like, mm -hmm. you know, they can really play their asses off, so it's kind of a, a mix of them elevating whatever I try to write for them, yeah. okay. instrumental-wise. Aside from that, like, um, Camille and I have been playing music together since we were 15, so, um, I had a drum set back in my room at home, and like he would just come and we would jam, and we kind of ended up establishing a sound, and like it, it kind of grew from there, you know. So there's definitely like that influence of like the chemistry, and then Matt just like kind of ties everything together. So. Yeah, I kind of just do my best to like complement what they already do, because they've had something like established long before I was around. So like. After just listening to the songs, I tried my best to like fit in and blend and like do something, come up with bass lines that would complement what they play. Uh, well, I think a lot of the stuff that comes that at least I write uh, is about growing up. Uh, you know, just our experience. I think I hope that I, at least I think I write lyrics that can be painted over with a wide brush, and hopefully they relate to it. Yeah. That's I mean, cool. Camille and I come from similar backgrounds, or like we all come from similar backgrounds. Um, like, you know, we, we, well, at least Camille and I, we weren't born here, and we came here um, when we were kids, and it's like, there are, there's a lot of pressure of like, oh, what are you guys going to do with your lives and your degree? And then it's kind of like the whole following your dreams and pursuing your passions that kind of mixes with the music because our passion is music. And so, like listening to these songs, I personally feel like yeah, that that kind of like encapsulates how I feel about like the way I want to live my life, like passionately and like doing the things that I love, and not doing things just because it's the status quo. Or, like I feel like a pressure from society and my parents. And, you know, and we all grew things. up around like a the same time basically. Um, went to different high schools, but pretty much the same crowd, you know. Yeah. And so. I think a lot, the, the energy of the music and a lot of the, the lyrics are driven by a rejection of like Western soccer moms, you know, like we don't, we don't want to have a big house with like a labradoodle and like three kids and take them to soccer practice. So I think it's just a rejection of the environment that we grew in, it's not necessarily an acceptance of it. The, the, the way that the dumpster get its name was we are three, you know, fully grown boys, and got a lot of garbage, uh, and we had one of those designated tiny garbages at our house for a while when we first moved in, so there was just garbage in the backyard constantly, and uh, we wanted to throw a show for our friends that were coming down from Tallahassee and going to Orlando, and we needed a name, uh, so we just called it the dumpster because it was just too much garbage in the backyard. Yeah. We fixed it, but like the name, we, we kept the name. Name stuck. Like, yeah. The first yeah. week we were in the house, actually, we, we tried throwing out all the garbage by like putting it on the curb, you know, like on the side it of the street. Happen. And the garbage people came and they're like, no, <laughs> this is not going to happen. Too much garbage, we're not doing this. So we had to take it all back into the backyard, and there was just so much. And we were just like, oh, like we need a name, let's just name it the dumpster. and then. That's that's how that happened, and the first show actually, we we literally made the Facebook event like the day before, the house show, and this was in um, September. Yeah, it was right. We had yeah. just moved in, and we weren't expecting much. It was only it was three Monday. Minutes. It was a Monday night, and um, like the night came and like so many people were out there. You know, like it wasn't like a, 
like a full house, but it was a very good crowd and it was so much fun and we realized this is so feasible and so fun and so doable. Um, if, if the floor is shaking, you know it's a good show. <laughs> and we've yeah. had three of those. So. And I think every single time they they only get better. And it's really exciting because I, I want to feel like I'm contributing to the scene and um, I think that this is a good way to go about that and I think that um, house show venues are like much more intimate and just like getting people out there and having fun and people feel comfortable comfortable enough to just like go crazy and let loose and dance around and jump around without having to like you know be afraid of getting hurt or anything because they're in safe in a safe place. So so I'm really just, excited to keep just like surrounded by friends instead of strangers as yeah, well. Yeah exactly like, yeah like everybody that you know. Everybody there is really nice yeah. Both, at least for me, and you know I can't speak for these guys, but uh, when I write, when I perform the songs that I write, I want to make sure that it comes across that it's honest, you know, that whatever moment we're capturing, if, if it's that show, you know, that it's an honest moment in time, and that, I mean, hopefully somebody can relate and somebody could attach themselves to the song, but that they feel that what we're playing, we mean. That's pretty much it. And that we're having fun doing it. And it's... Whatever music is coming out of us is a part of us. Yeah. Um, I definitely think that our music is special because when I'm playing it, I feel it. And um, it's not like... I don't feel like I'm ever playing a part where I never feel like, oh, I'm doing this for the money or because um, of any other like outside um, priorities. It's just like when I'm in the moment and I'm like playing with these guys and I know the songs intimately and I kind of just um, experience, experience like a catharsis and I just like feel it. And I think that's really special because um, like at our live shows, our energy has been just getting better and better, you know, and I think that has a lot to do with it because I have like so much fun just even just practicing with, with like these two guys, you know, like like they're like my best friends, so it's it never feels like like business like or like oh we have like goals or like if we get into like minor disagreements we, we just end up just like joking about it and like roasting each other and like, it's fine. <laughs> But the important thing is just like have fun doing it.